Hey everyone, this is Daphne Tet, and welcome to the first installment of the new and improved Pokemon Amber's Adventure Season 2 post-read commentary. I'm not sure in which ways it will be improved. The, whole, well, the only thing I hope will be improved this season is the consistency, am I right? Okay. Let's get on with it. The first topic isn't really about Pokemon Amber's Adventures, it's just about this channel. I am going to be doing another new series. It'll be on the Saturdays when I don't have post read commentary. Should start next Saturday. It is called Tip Ventures. It's basically how I spent my spring break vacation. But it's going to be like a long series of videos, however long it takes. Because I... Because I just got back... Well, not just... Why do I say just? I got back like two weeks ago. So, yeah. I will... The explanation is hard. It's basically going to be like how I spent my spring break vacation, but it's going to be over Duke Tip which I was at for three weeks a while back this summer. And unlike how I spent my spring break vacation where I was just improvising, I will actually be reading from my tip journal, which I kept while I was there. Still have to finish the last two entries, but I'll read it. <clears throat> and part of it will be improvised as well, so yeah. And since it's three weeks long, it was three weeks long, I don't want to, like, push all on one day, so I'm going to make it a series. So, yeah. Now, on to Pokemon Amber's Adventures. There's episode one, One Last Summer, which I just put in as a way to, like, ease the show into the Pokemon journey that's going to last for the rest of the season, maybe even more. I'm not telling. I, mean, I liked... The scenes back at the Trainers Academy because of the nostalgia. That's how I spelled it in my notes. It's it was nostalgic. It was like the whole first season took place there, and now it's just going back and just the nostalgia. <sighs> gotta take a deep breath. Sometimes I gotta breathe. And I think my favorite line was, my wife is my boss, my life is a nightmare. That, that line is just golden. It's one of the golden ones. I think it deserves a spot in the Pokemon Trainers Academy slash Amber's Adventures line Hall of Fame with other golden ones such as Shut Up and You Can Just Take This Paper and Shove It. Yeah, that was also a good one. And I also liked episode 2, The Journey Begins, especially the part where everybody's, like, arguing about where to go, because this is the part of Pokemon you don't get to see, where they're all just arguing on which way to go, when the only obvious route there is is Route 5. So, yeah, in the original series, everybody's like, let's go that way. But here I just wanted to be like, I say we go back into town. No, we're not going back into town. We just left. We're going that way. But the Viridian Forest is that way. What if we get lost? So what if we get lost? This is what a Pokemon journey's all about. Like that. I think I basically summed up that episode. Alright. <laughs> I think it's funny that it took me two minutes to explain to Ventures and one to go over everything actually related to Amber's Adventures. Or was it? Oh, whatever. <clears throat> so that's it. Episode 3 should be coming out next Friday. You should all know from last season that you shouldn't really count on it. But yeah, I'm giving myself more time to write these, so yeah, maybe you should count on it. It's going. This episode is going to take place in the Viridian Forest. So yeah, make sure to tune in. Friday, July 21st, for another episode of Pokemon Amber's Adventure Season 2. And make sure to subscribe so you don't have to click through the internet to get to it. And goodbye.